this is Windows 7 build 6519, the next mouse on one build after build 6469 and 6498, which was like recently. I know, it still looks like Windows Vista, but be patient. Let's take a look at features that are added, changed, hidden, and removed. Booting into the setup, there's a new Vista-ish boot screen with a little animation there. It's a nice addition. Is this available on the final version? Nope, unfortunately. But hey, we got balls in Windows 7. Moving to the Windows setup, the branding in the first dialog is still Windows Vista. But in Aula, it's already replaced to Windows 7. And starting from this build, setup will allocate 500 megabytes for system reserved or boot partition. And it's still ongoing to this day in Windows 11, albeit with a different size. Five minutes later. Thanks to my M.2 NVMe, the installation only take five minutes. Here we are on the desktop, we can see that there are small changes, but not much. The welcome center remains unchanged. We got the feedback button with Windows logo within this build, which was different from build 6498 that uses the troubleshoot or problem icon. Closing the welcome center, we can see more changes like gadgets are no longer having the sidebar visible behind them, and you can move the gadgets around the screen freely. You can even move icons to the gadgets area at the right. System trays are now minimalized with the introduction of notification tray. You can manage which apps to show or to hide. Running WinVer, the branding has been changed to Windows 7, unlike Build 6498, which did not. Despite it uses newer banner design, which looks similar to Windows 7's, it only exists for this build, well, for now. Heading back to the start menu, there are two changes visible. You can easily pin programs and apps with the frequently used app list by just hovering over the right side and click the pin icon. And when you search using the search bar at the bottom, the start menu expands. This seems like a good feature, right? Well, sorry to be a party pooper, both features aren't available in the final version of Windows 7. The easy pin feature doesn't exist. This is really typical for Windows to get features in and out. <coughs> Looking at you, sets. <coughs> Within this build, the feedback has its own dedicated app and its dedicated gadget. Opening the Windows Explorer, we are already seeing one change within this build. Search bar is now resizable, and it is showing history which is also available in build 6498. And also within this build, maximizing window will now show translucency effect across the title bar. Changes also occur on some applications. Calculator has a visible change at the top which shows previous operation, I guess? It adds programmer and statistics mode, calculation history, and unit conversions. Another change comes to Windows Easy Transfer. As it says, an easy transfer program. It changes from a full screen application with wizard system to a simple dialog with more. Or compact interface utilizing tabs, radio buttons, and others. As for Windows Media Player, it receives a minor redesign at the surface with address bar moving to the top, option to read being removed. I wonder why. Favorite toggle at the bottom right corner, as well as the player has been separated into its own view which can be accessed beside the favorite button. Paint also gets a minor update. Ruler has been added and it is enabled by default. Although the original on-screen keyboard is still intact, you can run a newer instance of it by running osk2.exe via run dialog or the search bar on the start menu. This newer instance looks very different from the original version. It is resizable and maximizable. Cool. But wait. Hmm. You see there's anything wrong? Yeah. The arrow keys are arranged in a strange way. Well, this layout is actually from older PCs. Like, old PCs. 8-bit guy will be a bit pissed off about how terrible the arrow keys layout is. A new application has been added. XPS Viewer, of course, to view XPS files. Do you know that this exists in Windows 7? Tell me in the comments if you know this exists. 
More visible changes can be seen in the control panel. In the classic view, three new applets are added. Device Center, which is a predecessor to Device Manager, and Spiritual Successor to My Hardware. <coughs> Windows Sensors, which utilizes, of course, well, sensors. No, 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 that sensor to blur, not that. This guy stinks! Display Applet, which spawns off from Personalization Applet, even though the Adjust Screen Resolution option still uses the older XP version. As for the existing applets, problem solutions are now running inside control panel as an applet rather than separate window. As you know, this is a Windows 7 beta build. You know the drill, we will enable red lock functions by going to the registry editor and enabling enable CHS and M1 FNO via disk key. Restarting Windows and we already see that there is Superbar, but it doesn't stop there. You can pin apps now to launch it later if you want to. You can hide the label if you want to. Thumbnails are 5 pixels above the taskbar, rather than sticking into it. AeroPeak has been introduced in here with a bit of a well, work in progress. <laughs> AeroShake is also introduced in here. Libraries are also included in here with each dedicated icon. Desktop background slideshow is also one of the introduced features in this build. By enabling this value on this key, you can enable- Why there is no option? Ah, I accidentally added the D there. Okay, <laughs> now you can enable the feature. I also found one odd feature added. You can show all programs inside a folder in Windows Explorer by enabling this value. This strangely is not available as a shell folder in Windows 7, well, but you can access it anyway. Not bad for an early bit of Windows 7, eh? Well, some features already have their early iteration in here. Some features are not making it to the final build, but hey, that's just how beta build works. You, you get the nice feature, it's still in progress, and it magically disappears. Honestly, I'm feeling good about this build, I imagine that if you can...